Hello and welcome to the video. In this video, we'll discuss luck balance, a problem from HackerRank interview preparation kit playlist. And I think it's second problem in the greedy algorithms. And it is marked as easy and for score 20. So we'll solve this particular problem in three steps. First, we'll discuss problem definition. After it will be followed by explanation, how we can optimize our approach. And after that, we'll write code. So if you are in hurry, you can either watch it at 2x or you can directly skip to the part uh, where you require. So I'll be adding timestamp in the track. So first let's uh, start with the problem definition. So uh, Lana is, <laughs> okay not Lana, it's Lena. Lana is quite popular. Lena is preparing for contest and there are n number of contests and for each contest there will be two things uh, with which they have mentioned that is Li and Ti. Li denotes luck associated with each contest and Ti denotes if it's important or not. And if it's 1, that means it is an important contest and if it is 0, that means it is not important contest. And similarly for uh, luck, that is Li, uh, it increases uh, every time she loses. <laughs> I don't know how the logic came here, but every time she loses, she ga gains the luck and every time she wins, she loses some luck. So the chart we have give, uh, which was provided yeah that is li and ti whenever she loses we'll add 5 whenever she wins we'll subtract the value from this particular table and after that they will again provide us with value k here k denotes that she loses no more than then k important contest so here 2 is given so that means she cannot lose more than 2 important contest so this is a basic problem so we have uh, that is first the input uh, the number of contest and for each contest we have again two attributes or values first luck balance what is the luck for that particular contest and if it's important or not and based on this we need to maximize our luck balance so hence it is a greedy approach because there will be uh, elements or data and from that data we have to choose for each particular data so we if we have to choose this or this or this so we have a choice for each element and again we have to optimize uh, our data so in the last video where we discuss optimal substructure and optimal result so here optimal result is maximizing the res uh, what i say luck and the optimal substructure is each element we have to decide for each element so that's the case so let's start with the explanation part and see i uh, will see how it works okay for first example they have given case value as to be 2 so that means lana uh, sorry lena cannot lose more than two important games and for in the chart or in the given input we can see there are only two important games and here with the k we know that she cannot lose more than uh, two important games so that means and as far as the unimportant games are concerned there is no constraint so by definition we can actually add this value without any hesitation so whenever the problem is given whenever we get the data we'll check if it's important or not important if it's important, we'll do something, we'll check, we'll try to maximize the uh, luck balance. And if it's unimportant, we can directly add it to luck balance. So here, let's say we first directly add 4 because it's unimportant and she can always choose to lose it because it doesn't matter to her. Since she is allowed to lose uh, like maximum 2 contests, she can always choose to lose these 2. So what we can basically do is we'll add let's say 5, 1 and 4. So that will be... 10 and the luck balance for this particular case will be 10 so let's suppose we have a uh, k value as 1 okay after changing k to 1 we know that she can maximum lose uh, any contest by only one number of time so that is for important cases so in this between these two we have to choose which contest uh, she can lose in order to get the maximum uh, luck balance and for unimportant here as we said in the first part it does not matter if she wins or not so she can always choose to lose an important contest so we can basically add 4 here and in between these two values what we can do is we'll check whichever is the smallest value because we want to maximize the luck balance we need to choose a contest where luck balance is small so here uh, because the what you can say data set is very small we can com using common sense we can say that we can uh, win this particular contest hence we'll get the maximum amount so that is it so we'll add 5 but how we can do whenever there is a larger data set or let's say there are 100 multiple or 10,000 entries for luck balance so we cannot choose directly so in that case what we can do is we can sort this particular data 
for the important contest so for important contest we can choose uh, or sort them using their uh, luck balance so this particular set for the important contest will be 1 and 5 we know that she can lose maximum one contest so what we'll do we'll choose how many contests she can lose uh, sorry win and remaining values in this case there are only two so all the remaining values can be added to luck balance so here 4 plus 5 will give us the answer 9 so let's take another example a bigger example uh, so that will make sure our concept gets clear okay let's start with the second data set here we have six elements or six contest and k is 3 here so k means how many times maximum she can lose a contest so here if you check there are four contests which are important so let let me write like i is 4 so that will uh, ensure that we'll check if k is equal to equal to i if that is the case we can directly sum up all the values and whenever there is i value or important value is greater than that of the k value so here k means uh, maximum number of times she can lose so we'll do the operation if it's uh, more we won't be bothered by that and we can simply add the values and here you can see there are two values which are unimportant so in the last problem we discussed or the explanation we discussed for unimportant contest there is no restriction we can directly add them so what we'll do is we'll add 10 plus 5 that is 15 to our luck balance and this is done for these two cases okay so we'll be bothered about this four and now we know that she can maximum lose three contests so that means we need to win at least one contest because important contests are four and she can lose three so that means one contest need to be won by her and in the last explanation which we uh, did we uh, say that instead of checking for each element and then comparing them what we can simply do is we can sort uh, sort the contest based on their luck value so here we'll sort this particular data so that will be 1 it will be 2 it will be again 5 and 8 and here we'll check what is the remainder of important contest and how much she can lose so here we know that she can win one or the difference so what we'll do we'll simply did not will not take the value that is uh, this one and we'll add remaining values so this will be 2 5 8 will be added to luck balance why because she can lose this many contest and she will win this contest so here what we'll simply do is we'll add 2 plus 5 uh, that will be 15 and again 50 so this will be 30 okay this will be 30 after that we know that she won one contest and we need to subtract the balance luck balance from the our sorry so whenever she lose we will add the luck balance whenever she wins we have to subtract from our luck balance so we have to subtract one from here so that will be 30 minus 1 so our total luck balance for this particular problem will be 29 so how we can write this particular solution is we'll first take the input we'll add all the unimportant contest value so we can basically take a variable let's say sum will add the, all the values of an unimportant contest after that for important contest we can take an array and we'll we'll push back the values into our, our array after that we'll sort that particular array and we'll check how many dif like what is the difference between k and important contest and what we'll do is or we can simply add all the values and then subtract double amount of the same like how many contests she won or we can simply add this value and we can subtract the remaining uh, okay. so if there is any doubt like how this particular operation is being carried out i'm writing code and i hope if there is any doubt uh, it will get clear, cleared there <laughs> cleared there <laughs> cleared is not clear in my case okay let's check the code so let's start writing code before writing any code there are two important things on hacker right, which we need to uh, do or check so first uh, what is size of input or what are the constraint and second how input is being taken so if you check in input format we'll see that first they will give number of contests that is n and followed by k which is how many maximum number of times uh, uh, lana <laughs> lena can lose the matches and after that for each contest there will be two attributes and as far as the constraints are concerned the range is in the 100 and the 
value of luck balance is 10 to the power 5 so basically int will do uh, it's or, or a sufficient to solve all the cases so let's start so let me basically write a template and after that we'll start writing code so let's start first that is n uh, the given size so we can take int n and k is the number of times she can lose it maximum so we'll first take the input for both of them so c in n c in k after this we want to add a for loop for taking all the values so for will go from 0 to that is uh, n so it will be int i is equal to 0 i is less than that of a, uh, n i plus plus here there will be two inputs so what we can do is we'll simply take let's say first and second i have to initialize the values so it will be int first and here first is luck and or i can simply write a luck and importance so that will be clear imp similarly here i have to ch make changes so here if this particular contest is important we have to do something and if it's not important we can directly add it to our balance so what we, we can do is we'll declare a, let's say another variable it is a, a int balance and in the start we can initialize the value 0 to it so here we'll check if the second value that is important value if it's imp will do certain things and if it's not let's say here we'll do the operation and if it's not important uh, as we said in the discussion or explanation we can directly add it to our balance so it will be balance plus is equal to second or in uh, luck value so here they will give us the luck and important balance so if it's important we have to check how many contests she can win or lose and then decide which to add or which to not and if it is not important if his case in the, this is zero so it will go to the else loop and will add particular luck to our balance okay this is i think uh, the only computation required in this particular problem and if it's important what we want to do is we want to push that particular value into an array because we have to later sort it so what we can do is uh, let's take an array first so let's declare array it will be vector of type int and will be called array and if it's important we want to push back the value into our array so it will be basically array dot push back and the given luck value okay i think this is good or uh, you understood this part here we basically checking if the particular contest is important or not if it's important we are pushing that particular value to our array and if it's not we are directly adding to our luck balance okay <laughs> and okay this is done after this we want to simply sort want to sort array so this can be done using let's say sort this will be array dot begin and array dot end okay most of our work is done now we want to check how many values we have to exclude that is n minus k and the remaining value will be added to some sum or the luck balance and the number of wins we need to subtract so what we can do is we can simply add the value let's say we'll add all the value which are important and then subtract the first one value or two value or first k values i minus k values okay so how we can do this is okay here we can again improvise on our part what we can simply do is rather than adding luck balance to else part we'll simply add all the luck balance and then subtract twice of uh, important luck balance so that will ensure that we are uh, again saving one for loop so that is n times operation so what we can simply do is uh, we'll push back to our array so that is uh, like not we are not deleting that and we'll increment a counter here so counter will tell how many important contests are there so what we basically need to do again is declare a variable that is count initialize value to zero and no matter if it's important or not we want to add uh, that particular value to our luck balance and uh, later in the part code we'll check how many 
on the shoe worn and will subtract twice the say amount okay so what we can do now is so let me clear this after this i'll take another for loop we'll check from int i is equal to 0 till there are important contest so we check using count minus k so this particular statement will give us how many contest you won and after this let me take i plus plus and let's take an another variable let's say int subtract or we can simply do in that as well so just this is just for simplification here what we'll do is we'll take sub and we'll increment its value by adding all the array i so this particular statement gives from 0 till she has won n number of contest will add its luck balance to our subtraction and will deduct twice the amount of uh, subtraction why because we added all the luck balance in first for loop okay after this the answer will be c out sum or i think it was balance and we want to subtract twice that of sub so i think this is good so let's check if it works or not too much <laughs> space is there okay let's check if there is any compilation error or some uh, okay there is compilation error. i have forgot it to add okay passes basic test cases let's check for the hidden test cases so what we did is we counted all the luck balance uh, irrespective of its important or not and after that we checked how many contest she needs to own and we subtracted twice the amount so that basically means we have or added all the values and one was for so one subtraction for which was not ended and another subtraction because uh, whenever she owns we need to subtract one value so if you are sol trying to solve all the problems from hackerang interview preparation kit playlist do check other videos and thank you for watching have a great rest of the day